so hello guys welcome back to our channel so if you have recently installed adobe's photoshop or premiere elements and wondering why are you not able to import or work on raw files then let's talk about it in this video so recently adobe has made a major change in their applications adobe photoshop elements and premiere elements in version 2023 which is that camera raw will not be installed by default with the product installation so this is the reason you might be having issues with 2023 version of Adobe Elements while you are trying to work upon the RAW files. But that doesn't mean that Adobe has dropped the support for Camera RAW in Adobe Elements. What they have simply done is that Camera RAW cannot, can be installed on demand basis from the product itself. So I personally like this change as I myself is not a very big user of the RAW files and with the removal of Camera RAW default installation I can save 1 to 1.5 GB of space on my machine without having to remove the entire application. This means faster installation, less disk space utilization and better performance. So let's see how can you install Camera Raw for Elements 2023. So first of all let's see the error that comes up when I try to import or open a raw file in Elements Organizer or Photoshop Elements Editor. So I go to import from files and folders. So here are my raw files. As you can see these are by default disabled. So let's try to change the customization to all files and see what happens if I try to import now. So I'm still not able to import it because camera row is not installed right now. So I get the error enable to import the following files to continue install the camera raw plugin from the help menu. Okay. So when I go back to the help menu, I can see there's an option for install camera raw. Let's see what the behavior for editor as well. Let's try to open a raw file in editor without installing the camera raw for Photoshop elements. Desktop raw files this data raw files. So again here it's disabled. Let's say I change it to all documents and then try to open it. So again I get a prompt over here to open this file, install camera raw plugin from the help menu. So again I go back. So there is an again an option. So we have seen that there are options in both elements organizer as well as in Photoshop elements editor to install. So you can use any of the buttons. So if I click on install camera row, an installer will open up for me. So here is the installer. The installer name is Adobe Photoshop Elements 2023 add on utilities. So add on utilities right now, the Adobe is only giving camera row through this installer, but I'm definitely sure that there are plans to add more features and make more features on demand basis. So anyways, let's give the password and see and install camera raw right now <clears throat> okay okay so these are the install options so language you can select as per your options default location you can change the location but i would prefer to install it at the default location continue okay so install it say support for new cameras and lenses that's great. So this carousel is clickable. If I click on it, it opens up a web page for me. Uh, okay, I got this error. So you see your work includes the four following programs. Okay, so I need to close the editor and the organizer before the installation can continue. So I'll just quickly quit both of these. Let's get this time and continue. Right. So one more thing to notify if you have the previous version of elements installed, that doesn't mean that camera raw will work in 2023. So even then you have to install the camera raw plugin using the uh, button which is available in the help menu for installing the camera raw. So installing 6%. So the installation is complete and the home screen has launched successfully over here. So let's see if uh, now we are able to import raw files into Element Organizer or editor or not. Okay. So my Elements Organizer is launching. Okay, great. 
Okay, so the button remains enabled, uh, but let's see what happens if I try to import raw files now. Okay, so as we can see you now that uh, the customization is still set the media files, photos, videos, and audio, it's not to all files, and, but now this time the raw files are importable. So let's try to import these. Great, then as you can see, after the installation of the camera raw plugin, I was able to import a raw file into Elements Organizer. Let's see the behavior in editor also. Let's put a shot inside. File open. Sorry, file open. Inside open, I can see again the raw files are enabled this time. So, as you can see, I can now work upon the raw files. I have the camera raw 14.4 installed on my machine, and raw files are working as expected. Great. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Please keep watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like. I'll be posting more such videos on Elements 2023. and uh, I personally feel that it's a great product. It's a great product uh, launched by Adobe and with a lot of major changes. Thank you again.